past year or so, you may have found that you've used your car less than you ever have before. And that's left one in three drivers less certain about their own ability behind the wheel after an extended break during the COVID lockdowns. Well, a study has found, unsurprisingly, that more than half of motorists drove less than usual during the pandemic restrictions. And now a number of refresher courses are running to help those perhaps who feel a little wary of getting back behind the wheel. Matt Price reports. Driving instructor Peter Scott has helped dozens of people in Sunderland to pass their tests. He knows how daunting it can be for people to get back behind the wheel after an extended break. It's usually not understanding the roads again um, or the speeding. Around a lot of the council areas, the speed limits have now been reduced. So you see a lot of speeding. And because of this, you see a lot of aggressive driving. We've seen a lot more of it since we returned from the lockdown. Research shows well over half of motorists drove their car less than usual during the most recent COVID-19 lockdown. The study reveals 36% are nervous about their own ability behind the wheel, while 75% are worried about the ability of out-of-practice road users. And how safe are our cars after a rest? Well, 16% of motorists say they didn't check any aspect of their vehicle during the latest lockdown. But because your speed's correct for that, then you're able just to fit in with that other driver. Alfred McNally is 83 years young. He's been driving for decades, but knows just how important it is to stay safe on the road. Of course, a lot of the, a lot of the families now have two cars, even three cars. He's out for a revision session today, organised by Durham County Council. And Alfred has good reason to be the best driver he can. My wife doesn't drive, never has driven, and I hate to think that I was putting her in any kind of danger, plus any other road users in danger through my stupidity. So I want to make sure that the driving is up to standard. Each day, five people are killed on the UK's roads, while so many more are seriously injured. And as more of us get behind the wheel after lockdown, campaigners say they are backing any scheme to improve safety for all road users. The statistics are uh, more worrying in, in the fact that the UK um, has been basically flatlined over the last six or seven years in terms of the number of people killed and seriously injured. The government is currently working on a two-year road safety strategy and I know that safety and reducing the number of people killed on the roads sits absolutely at the top of that. The UK is home to almost 33 million cars. Alfred has one of them and after today's session knows he's as safe a driver as can be for both him and his wife. Matt Price, ITV News. Changes to children's A.